Well, we're used to being in the position of being uh, up there one or two in the poll every year. And uh, that's something you're either going to chafe at or you're going to embrace. So we choose to embrace it. It's a great thing for the program. It says a lot about the, uh, the body of work we've had here and the success of the program uh, since the turn of the century. We have very few games where we really struggle or have an off game, uh, whether we win or lose. And uh, I think that's a credit to our kids. You've got to bring your A game every week. We're everybody's biggest game. And if you don't come to play, if you lack focus, if you make mistakes, you're in big trouble. I think the strength is going to be uh, definitely uh, in the offensive line, at least in terms of quality, if we stay healthy. I think we've got a couple of good running back prospects. You know, Trevor Scales, we think, is, is arguably, when healthy, the uh, most complete back in the league and a proven four-year player. We feel like our quarterback situation is in good shape. Now, you've got to prove that. I think the biggest challenge is going to be for a guy like Colton, who's done a terrific job as the backup. You know, when you're a, a, the starter, it's much different. Our front seven has a chance to be very strong. We've got tremendous leadership. We've got depth. We've got quality. With guys like John Lyon, Namdi Obukwelu up front, uh, Zach Hodges, uh, Grant Sickle. Jack Dittmer. Those are quality guys. And then you've got four out of our top five linebackers coming back. The secondary we think should be a good group, but only if we're healthy. If not, we're going to have to go young and go with some untested guys. If we're healthy, our front seven is going to be one of the better front sevens we've had in a while. I think the key will be we know people are going to try to throw the football on us. We know teams like Cornell. We know um, a lot of teams are going to try to chuck the rock. So we're going to have to be really good in the secondary. One of the reasons we've been a very solid program is we have great competition in practice. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's intense and our guys know that, you know, if you can run the football against our defense in practice, you can run it against just about anybody. And it's not easy to run the ball at all against our team in practice or in games. So there's a very healthy competition and competition is good. Guys like David Mothender is a kicker. He's a very consistent, valued, physical kicker. He can pound the ball. He's very poised. He was an athlete in high school. Jake Dombrowski is borderline pro prospect in terms of his leg strength. And then Saitu obviously had a break, breakout freshman year. We think he's a guy that can give us a threat in the return game on every snap. In terms of the specialists, we're not going to get much better than those guys. Bobby will do a great job. It comes very natural to him. Uh, but on defense, guys like John Lyon, who's a fifth-year player, who's immensely respected, one of the better defensive linemen in the league. Same with Namdi Obukwelu. Uh, Josh Boyd, who's a tremendous football player and just a great leader by example in terms of his work ethic and intensity. And I think you can say the same thing on the offensive side of the ball uh, about guys like Jack Haluba, you know, two-year starter at center, you know, very natural leader. Uh, Trevor Scale, same thing, just uh, does everything right. So I'm very comfortable that we've got a very good support system for our captain in terms of providing leadership. Well, we've got a little bit more diversity in our non-league schedule for a variety of reasons. Uh, part of it is recruiting. Part of it is we want to make sure we satisfy our fan base. But if you look at games like San Diego, Georgetown and Washington, D.C., the University of Rhode Island, which can give us another night game. Uh, these are very attractive for our fans and for our players. I think the thing about Harvard Stadium is, number one, it is such a unique, classic architectural structure. It's just um, aesthetically and historically just so impressive, so amazing. It appeals to a lot of people on a lot of different levels. Then you put our fans in there, you close it off with the Merce Center, you got those amazing sight lines going up right from the bench. and. Um, there's very few places that have that intimacy and that great atmosphere that we have. It's, it's special that's not easy to explain unless you've been in Harvard Stadium at a night game or at a Harvard uh, Yale game.